A big hello and a warm welcome to all of you amazing and beautiful people out there to my channel the Twin Flame Union. And this is a very interesting channeling session because the words were actually given to me in Bengali language and then I had to translate all of them. And it's very interesting also because the words are very familiar to me as well. So I am very excited to share this channeling to all of the divine feminines because the divine masculine is saying some really deep and intense words of love. And even though you might feel that they are coming to you via a medium right now, via a channeler, but in my opinion this actually came from the divine masculine domain. And it's for all of those people who just want to hear or just want to know What's the feeling? I will be a bit honest with you over here. At first, I didn't really understand this channeling because like I said, it was in Bengali language. But the only thing that made me realize that this is... Because channeling comes in very different ways, different styles, different formats. But it was the word mirror. It was the word mirror that made me understand that this is indeed a very intense channeling and the reason why um, I was I was really triggered by it first and, I, and then I was like, you know, what is this mirror, mirror in between? And then I realized that, okay, because this was actually a question that I asked uh, in the morning. So, and then as you can see, there are some channelings which were two years old, four years old, five years old even. Some were in the form of a song, some were in the form of a music video, some came in the form of a story. And the first, the very first channeling that happened, it was in between 2009 to 10 to 11 when I wrote the book In the Name of Love. Because In the Name of Love is basically all channeled stories. Channel stories of people who have age gaps, of people who have different ethnicity, of people who are in different countries, of people who met online. So all these five stories and even people, even a story where there is a, a matter of life and death. So at that point in time, I, I didn't even know it was channeling. At that point in time, I was like, yeah, okay, I'm writing a book. And out of the blue, I write a book. And out of the blue, uh, I'm shocked at myself because... I frankly didn't believe in romance. So writing a book which is called In the Name of Love, many people questioned me that how come you don't believe in romance and yet you write a book which is titled as In the Name of Love. Because that is the time I actually understood that love is not what you see in the, in the movies or in uh, what you read in Mills and Boons. Love is this which happens between the twin flame couples. Love is this, which happens in the ascension journey. Love is what a devotee feels towards source. Love is what you can feel for your pet. Love is what you feel in different styles and different formats. Love is so abstract. And love is actually a medicine. It is the only medicine on planet earth that can heal any disease. So the first line that came to me, which I should have actually understood in the very beginning, but I did not understand it as a channeling. I got very angry at it. It said, I love you. You are my mirror. I love you. You are my mirror. And I know you must be thinking that isn't it so obvious that it's a channeling, Sunamun. But like I said, at that point in time, I just wrote, I just read the I love you part and all the other lines that came in Bengali language. So I couldn't even understand. So it was like the words, then Bengali language, then mirror, then Bengali language, then mirror. So that it was the mirror that actually the word mirror that took my attention to it. And eventually I received the whole channeling. So it's I love you, my mirror. And then, and then it said, you are mine, mirror. You are mine and then mirror. So it's almost like the divine masculine is sort of now understanding via experience or via beliefs or via the, the change that has got triggered in him 
that he can also see that the person in front of me is not really triggering me or you know all the things he said to the divine feminine he's really regretting it this is also uh, another message that came to me but i am combining both the channelings and it, these two channelings came to me in the morning immediately after i asked the universe why haven't i received a channeling it's been 2 3 days or it's been a while and i was told that okay wait so i waited and then this second channeling when it came it told me that the divine masculine has been regretting but now he really regrets saying the words he said to her especially the words the mean words and the criticism so now he's thinking in his head oh my god i criticized her so much like seriously no one can criticize another person this way and why did i criticize her because i got triggered by her personality her, her appearance or the way she was carrying herself her energy everything was triggering him at that time and his reasons were different he was just getting triggered by who she is because who she was were a, was a more free person more relaxed person more you know fun loving easy going and more daring when it came to love she was more like yeah we can do this we can handle this so what we have these differences it's perfect i love you and this and that so initially it was very exciting for him it was like an adventure and all the times that he came back to her every time there was a reunion they had a series of reunion breakup reunion breakup breakup reunion breakup so at that point in time also he he was very excited by her energy but just before the long separation everything because the pressure from within and the pressure from outside became too much for him to handle and he became a bit delusional seeing that you know he would keep telling her things like this is not real you are the one who's delusional oh my god you don't understand this is not so easy we can't do it like this it's impossible or you know life is not like this you can't be so easy going about everything who's going to earn this much money or how is how are we going to pull off pull this off who's going to convince other people who's going to convince the world so all those thoughts became too much for him and he got extremely pressured and her relaxed attitude or her you know idea of being in love or her intensity of love despite all of the things that he was going going through it really made him feel that she is the culprit basically and now he is understanding that that she is not the culprit so he is saying you are mine and when he is saying you are mine he is really meaning it he is really going like weak in the knees and he is like going like you are mine you are mine and you are my mirror it's so almost like he is understanding that he is there and she is there for him like for one another to help one another in this journey till the last day that they are on earth they are there for one another and that's why you get triggered because somebody is a mirror and then the next line he says is i am today i am today or it's me today and i will stand in front of you or in front of my mirror from the beginning till the end this is a really really deep channeling you are mine and i am here today today in front of you my mirror and i will stand in front of you and i will stand with you from the start from the beginning till the end this is the complete message that was given to me in another language by the way then he says that it's been many days that we met it's been a long while that we met in person face to face so i want to confess i want to say these things to you in in person and this word confess 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 it was being repeated so many times that is the reason actually i got um, triggered because first this spelling confess was given as a wrong spelling so i couldn't even understand and then 
uh, you know when i checked okay what does this mean then it was okay confession so i have found out that okay it's confession and then i kept i was being given again and again confess 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 so eventually when it got complete it meant that all of these things which means that this message has obviously come from the fifth dimension the higher dimension which means clearly that the dm knows that this would be channeled this would be sent across via a medium or via another person that much also knowledge they have the collective has i think it's coming from the collective and then this last line was like though i am saying these words to you right now but i would be very happy and i would be more relaxed more satisfied when i confess these words to your face on your face in person and i will do that i will confess it to you in person isn't it a very unique kind of a channeling and after this i was given a channeling in assamese language so i do speak bengali a little bit have grown up in that environment where i could understand bengali songs or i could sing i used to go to durga puja but it's not like i use it on a daily basis so though i am good with bengali language and not that great but okay like i can sit with bengalis i can know what they're saying but it's not like i understand everything especially if the written language is in bengali the fonts or the you know the the lippy or the script is bengali then i would not understand it it's very difficult so this whole channeling came to me in that way so i had to really use my brain and then the next level is ask me his language so tomorrow i would be breaking it down and i would be translating the all the lines all the words but this the only word in between the only english word in between was mirror mirror and it was written in three different places which is what took me to that direction so this is where the channeling ends i know it's a short and snappy channeling but it has a lot of depth it has a lot of love it has a confession and it also has a lot of spiritual knowledge spiritual awareness and also the awareness that we are here for one another and from the beginning of this life we were together so even though the divine feminines let me yes explain this even though the divine feminines think some of you think that i met the dm 3 years back 4 years back 5 years back 6 years back for some of you 11 12 20 no the divine masculine is actually saying that i was there from the very beginning i will be there and i will be there till the end and i will always be there for you now i know some of you will think like yeah wow what a nice way of being there but you have to understand that you would be healing all your wounds and so would he okay on that note let me add one more thing to this channeling which i think is also connected to this channeling which i had skipped but now when i'm talking about this when i'm explaining the energy of this channeling i kind of have to go back to it so it's like um the universe basically sent a message all of these messages came to me after i had this question and uh, about receiving the channelings because i was feeling that maybe i am not in the right space or i am not in the right frame or maybe i am missing out on something channeling is a very different thing once you become a channeler then it's like there's no looking back it's only like going next step next step next step so i was given that and this is specially for the chaser that it is in the hand of chaser to end the separation why because the chaser is obviously making the runner run so runner is running away from the chaser so it's like they are in a ground they're playing the game of you know chasing and running and catching and all that 
as children and children play that game of uh, hide and seek or running away from one another so if you step out from it which means the chaser steps out from this game then where will the runner run where will the who will the runner run from now at that point in time once the runner is all by themselves himself or herself and they know that the chaser is not there anymore and yes that's the reason why i think this resonates is because in between the uh, i also mentioned the same feeling that the uh, runner had that you know i should not have criticized her so much i should not have say, uh, said those things or i should not even have gotten triggered by her presence her being like she's just being herself like she's just being her natural self why was i getting so triggered why was i getting so irritated why did i say those things to her I should not have so he's regretting that but it's like a simple thing that when the chaser steps out of that childish game then automatically the runner is all by themselves and that really scares them because when the runner when they see that no one's there to chase me then only they will face the demons the real demons because the chaser also has a very protective energy why the chaser has a protective energy because the chasers were always abandoned they were very you know they were neglected they all have neglected childhood neglected adolescence uh, a lot of their time actually went to heal this this is one of the biggest wound that they have so they feel very bad when they neglect the runner or when they you know it's like they've developed too much patience and this is planet earth planet earth is not a place for extremes extreme amount of love extreme amount of goodness extreme amount of sweetness you know extreme amount of uh, anything any emotion you know it's bad it's really bad this is a planet of duality where the singularity will only come with balance you can only be in the singular union energies when you have become a neutral person beyond good and bad so now when the runner has no no one to look to who's chasing who's not chasing who's triggering me then they are all by themselves now you could be thinking that what about the family what about the friends what about basically when the chaser stops chasing they leave a very big space and that space cannot be entered by other people the chaser has very protective very loving very warm energies also because of those protective energies because of those warmth that feeling of warm that's also the thing that attracted the uh, runner the runners are the first ones who actually see that love in the chaser which is what makes them the chaser so this label that the divine feminines have got for the chaser that's not a very good label to carry on with to be honest because who wants to be the chaser who likes to be the chaser being the chaser is such a you know like not a nice place to be in at the same time you can say who wants to be the runner but the runner is basically the mirror of the chaser so the chaser is also running away from the healing work from the traumatic work because most of the times it is seen 99.9% of the times the chasers don't do anything for themselves they only do it for others that is why you don't understand when i say mission work mission work mission work in a work it's very important because until and unless the chasers are moved by that feeling of selflessness that i want to do something for others something for someone and this is the technical part if if anyone who's listening to this understands this they're really sorted then they don't they won't need anything else to actually figure out but the chasers normally that energy of chaser when it goes away and they put that energy in the mission work then all the saving that they have to do they will do it they will find the resource to do it within themselves but they have to be really moved they have to really be in touch with something a cause so deep that they really want to use their energies their powers the invisible hidden powers that were otherwise hidden within them not so visible all of those powers all of those energies will come out then 
because they need a selfless action they need a selfless cause to be involved into and all chasers they have a very honest approach in life that's why they so blatantly go and you know confess initially they were the ones to confess to the runners that i love you i feel for you we can do this we can despite being the feminine feminines never do that the goddess energies never approaches another person never approaches a man and this is the reason why this whole one night stand culture this culture of going to club one club to another and the women are walking up to the men and asking them to sleep with them that's this is the reason why all those people all those girls are not in the goddess energies because they are running after someone they are trying to you know uh, convince a man to be with them in whatever way be it a one night stand be it a relationship be it anything this is the big difference with karmics the karmics they do everything in a very effortless manner they they are very effortlessly they seduce the masculine because they they know that you know that game they play that game too well but the masculines don't want to be with a woman who's been playing this game with many others the only the only way they realize it the only when they come back to the feminines it's when they understand that the game is not for him it's for everyone the karmics really don't love them they understand this by experience that's why they have to be in that situation also so that they open up their eyes to the true lover and then they realize that okay the divine feminine actually wanted me exclusive for herself only and this is probably another word that's popping up that exclusively he is saying you are mine and i'm yours so this this exclusivity factor was also something that he thought that she won't give it to him because she's too good she's so nice she's so pretty she's so amazing you on the other hand were thinking that he left me because i'm not pretty enough i'm not nice enough i'm not good enough actually it's the other way around he actually left you because he felt that you would definitely reject him if not now then later because he has been playing this game some of them are, have been players so they think that all of this is a part of game all of this is a part of the actual uh, not the actual love but the what they see you know like in on various dating uh, various dating apps this is happening in college it happens in school it happens in high school especially um then later on also when you are in the dating scenario this is the game that people play they say certain words they say certain things they do certain things they act in a certain way so i will continue this channeling in part 2 which i was not expecting as you know i had ended it but then this is how all channelings are times so spontaneous one love and peace out